Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, we're working on some thrift flip DIY home decor items. Let's get started. All right, so first up, I have this glass vase that I picked up at a thrift store. I will pretty confident I paid 50 cents for it. And I took it out to my garage and gave it a base coat of spray paint in the color white. You can tell it's not an even coat, but that's okay because we're going to add a whole lot more to it. But I figured that these paints wouldn't adhere to the glass as well. So I'm using Mineral by Waverly Chalk Paint and Burnt Umber, which is just an acrylic paint by Apple Barrel and a sponge. I think this is a cosmetic sponge from the Dollar Tree. And I'm trying to kind of blend the two. You're going to see, we're going to do layer upon layer. I'm using a little bit of water and we're just going to just kind of keep layering it until we get the look that we like. All of my DIYs today are using thrifted items, but they all could be done with like a Dollar Tree items as well. So if you don't have thrift stores near you or any luck with them, you could certainly find these items or similar items at the Dollar Tree. So we're just going to, yeah, kind of keep layering it. I'm kind of going for a, I don't know, textured cement. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it, but I think it came out great. <laughs> so as you can see here, I'm going to go and do um, kind of lighter and darker. We're just going to kind of alternate and build on this. So I'm going to let this dry in between. I do think the base coat of the spray paint was helpful to just help the paint stick a little bit better. Um, but we're going to just do layers of this and then let it dry thoroughly and then go and do another layer and just kind of alternate until we get the desired look. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Leanne. I enjoy sharing budget-friendly DIY home decor items here on this channel. I hope that you consider subscribing before you leave. So that's right. I did decide to use a paper towel to kind of dab off some of it. And then I went in with a little bit more of the, this is the burnt umber not as much um, of the mineral in here. And again, I didn't totally know how this was going to go. I just figured if this totally failed, I could go out to the garage and give it a coat of white spray paint and start over again. So I just wanted, I didn't want it to be the same color all throughout. I wanted you to see different colors, different um, darknesses. Darknesses, is that a word? Um, I just wanted there to be a lot of good depth here. Um, so here I'm going around the top and the bottom with the dark brown, but honestly in the end it ended up going in with a lot more dark brown. Let me know, what would you have done with this vase? Would you have done a different color or a different technique? Um, I would love to hear your ideas because I may try it in the future. You just never know. So here you can see, I, I did not show you all of this. I truly did spare, spare you a lot of it, but I ended up with it a little bit darker than I wanted. So now I'm going back in with some mineral and I really just kept going and going back and forth until I liked what I saw. So here it is finished. This is kind of where I landed saying, okay, I like this look. I like the colors. I like the shades. I liked it all. We're going to go in with some DIY wax. Um, just a clear wax to seal this in. You could also use a Mod Podge. I did not want this paint to chip off. I feel like that happens fairly easily with glass. No, this wouldn't have been too bad because there was so many layers of paint, but definitely a good idea to seal in your paints. And so I have the DIY wax, and so that's what I'm using. And I'm just using um, an old t-shirt to buff that in. And then I just put in some greenery that I had on hand. And this is how it came out. I really, really love this piece. I think it definitely goes along with my decor much more than the clear vase. Next up, this item is actually from the Dollar Tree, but it was marked a dollar at the thrift store and it was half off when I picked it up. So I paid 50 cents for it. Now, my idea for this, all three projects, I'm just gonna say this, all three projects in today's video, I went on a journey. I had an idea in my head and I wasn't sure how to do it. But I want to share with you how I go about that because I think sometimes, for me anyways, I love that creative process. And it's like, you can fix it. You can paint over it. You can, you know, redo it. 
And honestly, when I spend only 50 cents on things, I'm like, if it doesn't work at all and I have to throw it out, it's not the end of the world. So we're going to try to make this old and rusty and dirty looking. So I'm going in with a sponge around the edge with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color ink. And first I was just trying to do the edges, but then I got a little bit on, on it. As you could see, when I went to wipe it off, I was like, this is smearing, this isn't going well. Just keep going, we'll come back and figure that out later. That happened many times in this process. <laughs> so now I'm using my heat gun just to dry that really quick. It dried fairly quickly anyway. The other two colors that I'm using is Burnt Umber, and I believe it's called Harvest Orange. It's just an orange I had on hand because I wanted a rusty color. So I'm mixing the orange in with the brown. You can't really see a lot of the orange specifically, but it gives it a nice, the brown a nice rustier color. And I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna play with this. I know that rust typically shows up on like seams, top and bottom, like the edges where there's a seam on any maybe lettering, raised parts, just where like, I guess that's where like water would sit and it would, I don't know, rust that way. Is that right? Am I making sense? I will be honest, I didn't show this to you because it totally didn't work. I tried to rust this up by putting some vinegar um, on like some soaked paper towels around the rim and it barely worked and I left it for like a whole day. Um, I think it's because this one is painted. If it was just the metal one, I think it would have worked better. So here I am just putting different little rust spots. Then I was like, I want the letters to stand out. How do I do it? So I tried using like three different little paint brushes with a black and I was like, this isn't good. It actually looks better on camera <laughs> than it did in person. When I was editing this, I was like, oh, maybe you could have left it. No, it wasn't, it wasn't okay. Here it is and I'm like trying to clean up the edges with a baby wipe and then I couldn't and it was smearing. And I was like, I just, I don't know, but I really wanted the letters to pop out. So here I am realizing this is just a smeared mess. So I'm like, all right, let me just wipe it all off. And that didn't work super great. So I grabbed, is this where I grabbed some? Yes, grabbed some rubbing alcohol and I was like, okay, that worked pretty good. Um, it was actually still highlighting some of the letters a little bit. So I'm like, okay, forget this. We're gonna go back to the rust. I did go in with my paintbrush along the edges um, to hit like some of the deeper parts that the um, sponge was leaving a gap and I didn't, I didn't want that. So I went in and we're going along the edges. Bear with me, stay with me on this. It, it's gonna look better, I promise. At this point, I was doubting myself and I was like, yep, spray paint to the rescue but I kept going with it. So now I was like, maybe I can use, uh, oh no, okay, I'm doing some more, some more rust here. I wanted to do some bigger spots. I tried to keep them irregular. I tried to keep them some small, some big, as you can see, I wanted to do a couple random ones in there. Okay, so now I was like, maybe I just lightly touch it with my finger with some black paint. Nope. Okay, well, maybe I'll just use a sponge brush. Nope. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a chippy brush and then I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. This kind of looks like a wreck. I promise you guys, stay with me. I really like how this one came out. I'm going to use it, actually I am using it right now in my home decor. So yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, what have I done? I'm wiping this off. This is a mess. <laughs> this, is a mess. this is really funny to watch back. It wasn't so funny when it was happening. So what I decided to do, I was like, okay, rubbing alcohol, we're gonna go back in and I'm gonna wipe off the majority of this here. Um, and then I went in with a really, really, really light chippy brush loaded paint. And this was perfect. The smears from earlier looked now like a little bit of dirt. And it was also highlighting the letters just like I wanted it to. Going back in, gotta add a little more rust. But that actually ended up working. And I was like, oh my gosh, I actually like this. Because there was a minute there where I, I was doubting everything in my life. Um, so yeah, very, very little paint. And I love how this looked. It looks dirty. It looks like it's been sitting out in the yard, getting rained on, maybe not the yard, the porch. Anyways, I like this. I wanted to seal it all in with some Mod Podge just to make sure that this wasn't chipping off. Um, if you can relate at all, let me know down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Do you ever have your DIY struggles? Cause I know I do, but you know, a lot of times they lead to some of the best. 
And my husband was really impressed with this. He did not think that it started out white. Like, I think he thought I had done it, done it kind of reverse, but he was like, oh, I really like that. So, I mean, he always says nice things, but that was like unsolicited. So anyways, give that some Mod Podge to seal it in so it doesn't chip off. And then I just threw in some greenery that I had on hand. So that's of course casting some shadows on the item, but let me know, did I go too far? Should I have stopped earlier? What do you think? I love how it came out. All right, up next is a frame. I love getting frames at the thrift store. I paid 50 cents for this as well. I already checked the back off and the glass out. And I'm using the candle wax technique. I've used this before and it's gave me a beautiful, fun, chippy look. It didn't work as planned today. Nope, nothing quite went as planned in this video. Um, but the idea of it is that you rub on some wax, you paint, and then you scrape. And where the wax is, is where the paint doesn't scrape or does scrape. Does scrape, I think. One of the, one or the other. And then you end up with this, this layered chippy look and it's adorable. It didn't work that well. I don't know if I didn't use enough wax or if it was the texture of this frame because it was a little bit, it was a nice thicker frame, like a nice plastic, but it was plastic, it wasn't wood. I don't know if that played a role. If you have any ideas, let me know down, know down in the comments. But anyways, we're gonna go through the process. So I did the wax, did Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Celery. As you can see, it dries quite a bit darker. And then I'm going with, with, in with more wax. Because the idea with this is you can do different layers and it's just so fun. It's great. Maybe I needed to refresh myself on this process before doing it again. I don't know. But now we're gonna go in with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color white. I do end up doing two coats of this because this was gonna be my final color. And any part that would be seen when it was all put together, I painted. So that's why I'm doing the edge here. The back does not get painted in this video, but it gets painted in real time in my life um, because I do want it to look finished. It's got splotches of paint. You'll see that in a minute. Um, so here's my second coat of white, white paint. So if you've done this before, um, maybe let me know what I did wrong, but I do still get a rustic look in the end. And therefore I left it because I like that rustic chippy look anyway, but I've done this before and it worked better, but I'm just going in, I'm scraping and it's all going straight down to the black. See, I was supposed to get black and green. That was how this was supposed to go. And it didn't go the way I planned. <laughs> so I switch up my little scraping tools thinking maybe that would help. You're supposed to scrape where the wax is. And that's, yeah, I don't know. So anyways, it still was giving me this chippy look. I didn't get any of the green really, which was kind of a bummer because I was looking forward to that. But I did get the black and the white and I just messed with it until I got some, I don't know. I'm going in here creating some extra chips now because at this point I'm realizing what I was, thought was gonna work was, was not gonna work. So I did all of the edges and the raised parts. I loved this frame because it wasn't just a flat frame. Anyways, I went and scraped till I was happy, wiped it down. You wanna seal this in with some Mod Podge or some clear wax. I didn't show you that, but that's a, definitely something you wanna do. And then I'm taking a calendar page because I have a lot of these calendars and I don't know that I'm gonna buy any this year because I, I always like the idea of using them, but I don't have enough ideas. So I still have quite a few to work with, but I loved this. I just cut out the farmer's market. I cut it down and then use my paper cutter to get straight lines for the rest because you know that's how I get, get it better. That's how I get straight lines better. Anyways, I promise back of the frame, that's good. In the end, it's all painted white, but just didn't show that with you. So here it is, cute little sign. Did not give me the chippy look that the wax is supposed to. Tell me what I did wrong, but it still gave me a chippy rustic farmhouse look, which I love. And that is it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I would love it if you would check out some of my other videos that are linked here on the screen. And I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful, blessed day.